three. And this time we've got Scramble going on. Let's see if that makes the game a little bit more interesting. Um, I once commented a game where you know, what happened was actually the teams were so even. Uh, I was doing a commentary in Upward. And the teams were so even that after half an hour it came to a stalemate. You know, you know, you know a game is too even when you know people are actually asking for a scramble to make the teams slightly uneven. Um, but usually, I, I love a good even game because you know, I, I'd rather not have to you know play through a game where you got rollover after rollover after rollover. It's just not fun, and it just makes the team one for the team feel bad, you know. But anyway, though, 25 seconds on the clock. Let's see what the teams are doing right now. Well, you know, blue team. Again, it's a good push team. Uh, they've got some admin. They've got reasonably good admin here or there. Um, Mona, you know, gave a bit more... Uh, slight variation in attacky classes, but, you know, it might work. Uh, Red, on the other hand, actually going for a quite a balanced team act for the time being, so, you know, good on them. Doors open. And blue team is immediately gone with the business of pushing the car. Nice over there. Try to take out the demo man. Effin is running away. No! Oh no, no. Hobnobs finally tracks him down. Oh! <laughs> M4 Doc there punishes that medic with crit bullets. Besides the fact of being also invulnerable as well, which is, you know, a piss take. Okay, looks like both teams, you know, we're seeing a little bit more different play here. Blue team's moving out, red team is a little bit more. Still being defendy. Ooh, Dougie has a back shot and bends him there. Nice work. Now, from the looks of it, blue team is moving up nicely. Uh oh, choker pick there. No, nope. try and put down the uh, old. I'm going to plonk down a sentry trick. Uh, doesn't necessarily work all the time, unfortunately. I think with minis, actually, they're, they're great when putting cover and people run into them. They don't know they're there. But blue team doesn't need to get on with that cart. They can move that thing up, get it closer. They've got more healing and ammo, re you know, thingy renewal close to the front. So that's you know good for them. Oh, let me use the server, please. My name is TFT Public Ferret. I'm uh, casting a pub commentary. If you please feel free to mute me if you don't want to hear me. Uh, if you're right as a uh, free person, wherever you are. Anyway, okay, though, looks like blue team getting with the job. And there goes that car. And a good six minutes bit on the clock there. So, you know, blue team are doing nicely now. Does red team only left in the uh, tub? Schrodinger's cat there. I think we, we can never truly really know if he's up in the air or on the ground. Uh, unless you're underground, then you, know, you get completely massacred by M4 Doc there. That that feeling when you go around the corner and you suddenly meet a heavy face first. It's like, uh, uh, oh! King of Salmon there. Not taking the game seriously, but then it's a TF2. <laughs> and completely murdered there. But anyway, back to the front. Well, it looks like Blue Team is getting on with the car. It's Benjamin. Oh, ho, 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 dear. Uh, Karazok there. Nearly just missing that crit rocket. Uh, if that was, you know, a little bit angled downwards on the ground, he would be dead by now. But, whoa, that was a little bit high, that shot. Only a little bit, and that could have been the end of him. Heavy, wealthy suit. Get on with it. Going. Nice use of cover there. That's the thing. I mean, heavy using cover like that is amazing. Um, that's we you know the cart is really helpful. If you get heavy behind the cart there, the sentry can't hit you, but you can hit the sentry. Looks a bit. Ooh. 4 minutes 43 there. Cart is on the last turn for this point. 
Can blue team make it get past this? Now the thing is right now that sentry is the thing that's really holding up red defence. Now if red can keep that sentry up and going from King of Salmon there, they should be in good stead. Steadily moving up. They're having a little bit of a problem trying to advance through red team. Oh, Bob the Killer just misses the floor. Sandwich, they're having problems keeping up with engineer gear there. Oh, <laughs> sticky chin there. Uh, takes, the, takes the hit for Sandwich. That was unlucky. Well, for him. Lucky for Sandwich, though. I mean, he's feeling fine. Um, <laughs> but Red Team are really coming back. We are seeing some amazing defensive gameplays today. Red Team is just holding on. Um, I think part of the problem here is that Blue Team just doesn't even get into the front. I mean, maybe it's simply too many admin. I mean, yeah, the problem is I think Blue have way too many assassination classes. They need more shooty classes. More demo men, more he heavies. Pyros, even. Actually, I've not seen many Pyros today. Um, you know, heavy demo men as well. I mean, heavies can take out a sentry around the corner pretty easily. And demo men are, you know, the guys you need to, for that stuff. Oh, blue there. <laughs> I don't often cut say about, you know, um, air shots there. But, you know, it's an air shot with a uh, direct hit as well. That's just mean. Ah, interesting. Oh, nice work there. M4 Drop taking out that teleporter. That teleporter, for some reason, was way out in the open. I mean, you ideally, you keep your teleporters concealed. Because uh, the teleport is your, like your team's best friend, really. I mean, um, if that's uh, you know nicely placed, you can get your team right to the front lines, and you can keep up the um, pressure on an enemy team. Right now, two minutes two. Blue team needs to make a breakthrough here. They've got to break red team. It's looking difficult though. There goes Nuba. Now, can Bob the Killer do what he needs to do here? Well, I'm not sure what happened there. It didn't really come off. Blue team needs to get moving in, though. Oh, there's Effin. Ubered up. Nice time for an Uber as well. I should just keep... Oh! <laughs> and the random crits on Hobnobs there. I have to say, I do like random crits. They really do make a game. <laughs> No, I think I say, I say about the un inherent unfairness of pub games that I really like. Personally, I'm more of a you live by the crits, you die by the crits philosophy. It's like, I get crits, I get killed by crits. Eh, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it's luck, but sometimes you need a nice bit of luck here and there just to make a game a little bit more interesting. If it's too calculated, it becomes boring because, you know, it's way too predictable or you can, like, calculate too much. Well, I don't know, actually. I think, I think um, Sid Meier, you know, the game designer himself, said, you know, you do need luck in a game, actually. It makes it actually a lot more interesting and fun. Um, Mission now, in any case, 22 seconds on the clock here. Can Blue make a push? Can they do anything right now? Or are we doing for an yet another red defensive here? Oh, okay. Zio S Sam there. Oh, can they do this? Can Blue Pub push this? Oh, and Red dropped the ball right at the last minute and gave Blue five more minutes to go for this game. Oh, dear. I think Red Team counter-attacked too hard there. Now Blue have a new spawn point. 
This is going to be tricky. Now, Blue Team need to run away with all the money here. They need to get a cart push and get some more time on the clock. Me? Comp background? None whatsoever. I just love playing pubs. Now, any case, 4 minutes 26. Um, Blue Team moving out this, to be fair, actually, this third point area. Um, it is a lovely, lovely sniper area. And snipers just love staying on those little red uh, wooden rafter area things there. And just sniping away. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Carol's up there, takes down Rick. And I think Rick was like, yeah, 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 I'm going to move. Oh, wait, no, I got shot in the face. To be fair, there's also a bit of a spice playground as well. Lots of little twists and turns here and there. Now, looks like Red Team are getting a you know, little bit more vigilant in their defence here. They, 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 this is a good line. Now, the problem is Blue Team needs to get a move on like they did last time. I think by sheer grace of Red for getting there of an objective, um, they actually managed to get pushed up. I mean, that was the problem. Red actually got way too uh, counter attacky and kind of forgot about the cart. And the blue team exploited the full worth. Three minutes seventeen. It's not looking good, blue. Now, what do they need to be doing here? Well, uh, the thing is, they do need to be kind of getting to grips with the enemy right now. And let's see their team. That they have gone for more combative team choices now, so that's good. That's going in their favour. Uh, ideally, need to get the grips with the enemy because red team are kind of moving away a bit. Moip asking for a high bro. You wouldn't believe the sheer amount. So I was doing a, a, a frontier commentary last night, and you know. Uh, that, that group is wising up to the power of heavy, and we're seeing tons and tons of spies now just stabbing up heavy, so be careful. Bob the killer playing half to. Oh! That half is out of each random crit kill. Oh man, half is out of each is such a scumbag weapon, but thankfully to new changes in uh, Demo Man. Um. I don't know, I prefer the old lock and load where it had the insta kill people with crits and stuff like that. You know, the new one, the three barrels, nah, I'm not so keen on. But it does sound like Hobnob, you don't really enjoy this game too much. I mean, I don't mean to say that in a thingy way. It's just that you don't seem to have. It seems to have a lot of issues with the game, man. Anyway, now back to the game. Well, looks a bit. I'm not sure. Well, the thing is, you say about hit scan and things like that, and it's like I don't think the game's on the shit. I think if the stuff's always been there, perhaps. Um, maybe it has changed quite a bit in the last few years, but I don't think it's changed too fundamentally. I mean, now you you want to play like you know comp and pugs and whatnot. Um, Maybe you should stick to that. I can understand, you know, a game falling out of love with the game, and you know that's entirely possible with certain things. Anyway, minute on the clock. Oh man, Karazok there really, you know, rack up the kills. Oh, personally, I love those weapons. Short circuit, such a troll weapon, but you know you have to use it properly, and the flodge. Uh, yeah, that's just old-fashioned pyro coming back to haunt you. Now, in any case, 36 on the clock here. I don't think Blue can pub push it this time. Red team is just maintaining way... To that's a lovely sentry defense, by the way, from Red. Uh, they're really keeping an eye on both good approaches. Actually, that's a lovely one, that the uh, cart ramp area, because that one it, it's got lovely cover, and actually the enemy has to get in range to actually see it, so that's a lovely, lovely sentry there. Well, I think actually it's a combination of all the red team, actually a very good old team overall, and yeah, red win that the game. Lovely from Blue though, tried to come bring it back, but nah, not enough. 